equipo magnífico de personas y a mi show Jane Diversion. Where are you, boss? Love you, boss. But I'm not here for political reasons or to attack or point fingers. I respect the laws and institutions of this great country, and even the office of the President of the United States. I'm here to appeal to the humanity and kindness of the leaders and lawmakers of this great country, a country founded by hard-working immigrants, all of them! God gave the gift of greatness and economic power to this great nation. The same greatness and economic power that the current immigrants still give to this country today. I am here because I am a father. And whenever my kids cry for whatever reason, I feel that my soul is being ripped away from my body. I will give my life to stop my kids from any kind of suffering. And, if, and, if, and anybody who is a parent should feel some sort of empathy towards the desperate cries of any kid. While these poor innocent souls are going through the shock and trauma that is being inflicted to them is irreversible and beyond belief. And no matter what political party you support or ideology you believe in, if you have one hair of humanity in you, you should, you should feel some sort of empathy to the agony these families are going through and should be outraged by these actions. advocating for open borders when we say that we want to reunite families. No! By asking to reunite families, we're not saying that people should be allowed to just walk into the United States illegally. No! We are not supporting gang members or drug dealers when we say that one, three, and five-year-old kids shouldn't be in a holding facility for weeks after violently being yanked from their parents. respect immigration laws when we implore to this administration to please reconsider their choice of policy on how to enforce such laws. No, we don't disrespect the president or his supporters when we peacefully and respectfully beg him and his administration to please stop this madness. Republicans, Fox News, President supporter, please don't put words in our mouths just to justify the atrocities of a political agenda. We love America. We are grateful for the men and women who serve and for all who have died for our freedom. But what's happening to children at the borders is simply unacceptable. Please, politicians, don't use children to show how tough you are. This is a great chance to show the world how compassionate America is by protesting the most vulnerable members of society. America should be setting the example of morals and ethics to the world. And with this issue, America is not honoring its moral duties. These people are not rapists, drug dealers, and gang members. The vast majority just want a better life and better opportunities. And if they arrive to the borders in desperation, it's because in some cases they're escaping from wars, domestic abuse, violence, arranged marriages, genocide, etc. 